Hey, grace and peace everyone. This is Charles here with another midweek recharge. And this week I want to talk about the challenge of reading scripture. <laughs> oh boy, I know. Charles, how are you going to do that in just a couple minutes? Well, um, here's the big one. I think here's the, here's the point. The challenge with scripture is not scripture. It's us. It's our confirmation bias. I know it's a newer term, but it's a term I think we, we have known and uh, just in the last, um, you know, several decades has social science kind of given it us, given us this term in a very kind of tight um, expression. And it's the concept of um, reading into or looking for uh, evidence, looking for information that confirms our own perspective, our own opinion, our own biases. And I think one of the things that we can be guilty of, um, whether it's uh, a holy uh, scripture, and when I refer to scripture, I refer to kind of the assembled canonical 66 uh, texts that represent the, the Old Testament and the New Testament for the Christian Bible, um, but the rule, uh, the concept applies to uh, readings of the Torah. The the concept applies to readings of the Quran. The concept applies to to to, to reading the writings of uh, uh, of Buddha or or uh, you know any kind of ancient text. Is when we don't approach the text, particularly Scripture, with a clean and humble heart when we bring our agenda, our biases, our objectives to the text, and then therefore look for examples that back up our agenda, our opinion, our biases. It's not the text's fault. The issue is with us. So my challenge to you is to develop a pure and humble heart to approach the reading of scripture, to approach the ancient text from a place of faith and humility, recognizing that it was written a long time ago in another part of the world in an entirely different cultural context than the one we bring to the text in our modern Western sensibility. And yet, God is still God and God is eternal and God is good, and there's a word for us in that text today, just like there was all those years ago. Let that be your recharge.